Big hello to the Be Epic community. I'm so happy, uh, enthusiastic to be here speaking to you about an amazing product. Uh, we've had the great fortune to work with your um, R&D team and build a technology that I think uh, is going to change a lot of lives. Uh, we're going to talk about Regenerate. Regenerate is the product of the moment that has come out of our biologic laboratory. Uh, later on, uh, once we finish the presentation on the technologies, we'll run you through our laboratory where our drug research takes place, where we actually study the pharmacology of natural medicines using drug research that's commonly executed in the allopathic medical field. And so what we're trying to accomplish with this research is to demonstrate the pharmacology and the activity of novel variants of these natural compounds so that one, we can deliver to you a protected compound that you can sell to the marketplace, but also one that has a justified and verified scientific basis uh, for the mechanism by which it works. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that and what we've done to uh, generate the regenerate product for you that is absolutely life-changing. Our original studies uh, with the technology have shown us that uh, this will actually deliver results that you've never experienced before. Um, if you're age 35 to 50, the, the effect you'll feel within a day or two is profound, life-changing, anti-aging, um, performance enhancement, um, all these things wound up into one product. So Regenerate is our anti-aging, anti-inflammation product. It helps to, uh, it improves or supports a more effective and more appropriate inflammatory response while protecting your tissues. And the beautiful thing is, it's, it's, it's a, a pharmacology, a biological activity that you will feel within a couple of hours after taking it. So let's run through the activity of this product and what, what it entails and how it's going to improve lives. So Regenerate is, is, is designed with the intention of improving the body's aging process. Now inflammation is the core chemistry of every disease and so we're basically leaning on the inflammatory cascade, inflammation, to improve how your body responds to your environment, how it responds to aging, how it responds to your food intake, um, your workouts, your level of activity. Um, so what we're going to do is take you today and revert your recovery potential to how it was when you were 19, 20, 22 years of age. So if you're 50 today, we're going to start reversing your biological age if you take this product daily with a scientific, scientific basis to, to support the claims. So we're going to relieve joint pain, we're going to improve the body's ability to recover from physical work, we're going to protect the brain from inflammation and deleterious effects of the environment, we're going to improve remodeling of the bone tissue. All these things happen when we help manage inflammation in the body and Regenerate is designed to do this and we'll show you just how. So the, the main impetus uh, in Regenerate's pharmacology comes from our novel curcumin bioobedium C. Now curcumin you've heard of, turmeric is the spice that curcumin is extracted from. We'll talk a little bit about how we differentiate our technology and how your product is so different than anything you've seen in the marketplace. But curcumin is out in the marketplace today, and I'll show you how curcumin bio BDMC, our trademarked and patented, patent protected technology, is very different than anything you've seen before. And what we've done is coupled it to collagen, because collagen is a very important protein in the body. It's like the glue that holds your tissues together and gives elasticity to your tendons, to your connective tissue, to your skin, and in fact, you know, the aging process by which um, the body begins to degrade uh, starts with the oxidation and degradation of the connective tissue and that's how our skin starts to wrinkle as we age. So we're going to help preserve the connective, connective network of the connective tissue uh, built basically on the foundation of collagen and um, we do that in two ways by supporting an anti-inflammatory or improved uh, inflammatory response in the body through this curcumin bio BDMC, but also through an antioxidant level, an ORAC value that you've never seen before. So the ORAC value or the antioxidant capacity of the bio BDMC exceeds any curcumin in the marketplace. For example, curcumin can range between 4,500 ORAC value to about 9,000 ORAC. And ORAC is the oxygen radical absorption capacity. It's a measure with, uh, it's, a, it's a metric that we use to measure the antioxidant capacity of a substance. 
So curcumin typically ranges between 4,500 and 9,000, but curcumin bio BDMC is at 6 million per gram. 6 million per gram. It just, nothing in the marketplace compares to what we have in terms of the antioxidant potential, which preserves your tissues, your body, your brain, your heart, uh, your arteries, and you'll feel the difference uh, that I'm talking about when you take this product. Um, so coupled to collagen, collagen is, is the most abundant protein in, the mar in, 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 in your body. Um, it is the glue, like I said, that holds together bone matrix, that holds together your connective tissue, and it tends to decline in terms of the compositional structure as well as the, uh, the content and volume in your body, and that's what tends to degrade tissue as you age um, and create vulnerability to muscle tears, tendon tears, to bone uh, density loss and things like that. So we'll talk about what that means. Let me tell you where I'm coming from. I've been doing research in the, in the medical field and the pharmaceutical field for almost 28 years, maybe 30, yeah, 28 years. So what my focus has been, um, has, it's been in the, in the natural space and you know, we have a little bit of a controversy that goes on between the medical field and the naturopathic or natural space and the challenges we face are because medicine does not really teach nutrition and nutraceutical technology and so you know I have uh, basically initialized an effort at Biologic to bring science to the nutraceutical space but to execute the research in the way that the pharmaceutical industry executes the research and the reason why we do this is because if we're able to show reliable results with natural products using pharmaceutical and allopathic medical research then the allopathic medical field cannot refute the outcome, the results, the pharmacology that we're demonstrating because we're using the same technologies, the same methodologies in the research to show that our product works just like a lot of their drugs without the side effects. And that's the objective here, that's what I've committed to and that's what Biologic has been um, guided to, to, uh, to execute. So I myself have, I'm a former bodybuilder. Um, I've been Mr. Vancouver, Mr. British Columbia, Mr. Western Canada, Mr. Canada, and Mr. North America, IFBB Weeder North America. I won that in Los Angeles many years ago. I still work out to stay fit, so a lot of these substances we use and we study, I, I use myself. And, um, you know, I have a personal personal impetus that drives me to study anti-inflammatory activity because I've, I've got ulcerative colitis where uh, I was diagnosed when I was about 24 or 25 and that set in motion my direction and my personal story uh, to overcome these diseases that are inflammatory and like I said before every single disease that we face is characterized or driven by the chemistry of inflammation. So if we help control inflammatory activity within the body, we help control and take the edge off disease. In fact, with some of them, we help relieve them altogether. Um, so that, that is the reason why we focus on formulating products that have a central core of activity that's anti-inflammatory or supports improved inflammatory response. Let me talk to you a little bit about BioBDMC and what makes it different. BioBDMC is a my brainchild and something that you know I've worked on for honestly it's got to be about 19 years in terms of the research to demonstrate the activity that is so different than any other curcumin. There are four published papers in the medical journal so when you're out there talking to people about BioBDMC and if you can't deliver the message you want to be able to deliver don't worry about the technology don't worry about the science just talk about basic principles we'll talk about in a moment but know that there are four research papers that speak to the technology that we've discovered the technology that we've developed and they are peer-reviewed so these are not papers that I've written and said okay here's my opinion these are papers that I've written based on our research that has scientific basis and scientific facts but then are peer-reviewed to be published in, in in these medical journals so there's two there and two more that are recently published. We had to hold back these last two because we filed patents in relation to our technology and we had to hold back the discovery. Um, these were published only three years ago, or two years ago, but you'll see them in, and we can send you links so that you can utilize this. But just know that what you are using, what you are advocating is based on real tangible science that has been run in our laboratory. And again, I'll show you what we do downstairs in terms of the drug research in a little while. But know that it's peer-reviewed in the medical journals. 
So as I've said, inflammation is the core chemistry of every disease. So when you take these technologies that have the curcumin bio BDMC in it as the core platform, you're going to feel a very um, 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 profound anti-inflammatory effect. And what do you feel? Well, there's pain relief, there's swelling relief, and with that also becomes, you, 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 you tend to establish an improved energy. So the, the thing to keep in mind is that, you know, even aging, as we age, we know that um, we tend to become stiffer. We can't really wake up in the morning after a long day of physical work and get up and you're fine. No, not like when you were 20 years old. You get up and you're feeling a little stiff in the hips, the knees, the joints. This is all a function of inflammation that, that results from the physical work the day before. And so what's different than when you're 30, 40, 50 years old versus when you're 20? The thing that's different is an oxidative factor in our cells that actually changes how certain proteins work and how they interact with your genes to make these cytokines or these inflammatory proteins. And oxidation plays a huge role in that. Oxidation causes a looseness amongst these proteins. I'm going to show you this in a moment. And that looseness results in the protein leaving the cytosol and going to your genes where the promoter of the gene then connects with this protein. It's called the transcription factor. And it makes all these cytokines that are, that are responsible for creating the inflammatory response. When you're older, the connection between the inhibitory or the protective feature in the cell is looser because of oxidation and it leaves with a milder impetus. So an injury that may not have been that, that, that intense, a physical work that's not intense, and still that protein leaves to create inf inflammation. But when you're younger, the bond between the protein that's inhibiting this transcription factor is very strong and it's strong because there's less oxidation in the cell because when you're younger your body produces endogenous or internal antioxidants more proficiently and therefore your ability to control inflammation when you encounter mild influences in the body is it's more profound when you're younger you're just better able to recover better able to prevent the inflammatory cascade from it being executed so aging plays a big role and what we're doing by improving the bond in the protein the inhibitory and the transcription factor is we're actually reversing the aging process from that standpoint. It's a very simple mechanism, but it's one that's taken 20 years to discover, and it's a mechanism that showed us why BioBDMC works to treat my condition and to treat other conditions that uh, we've shown amazing results um, in. So here's a little depiction of what we got with curcumin. I want to show you what's so different about our technology uh, from a composition standpoint. Um, we have regular curcumin on on my right and regular curcumin is only made up of about three to five per percent sorry let me back up regular turmeric turmeric is your spice right so the spice you would use in your kitchen regular turmeric is made up of about three to five percent curcumin and so if you take regular turmeric its ability to deliver an anti-inflammatory effect is not good because what we do is we take out that three to five percent, bring it out to a 95 percent extract. Okay, that's what you've seen in the industry: a 95 percent curcumin. So instead of three to five percent curcumin in turmeric, you see curcumin in the marketplace: 95 percent curcumin, and that's what we've seen as an anti-inflammatory. The challenge is that it can take two or three days for that curcumin to deliver an anti-inflammatory effect it's not very effective and I'll show you what the difference is from a mechanistic standpoint what we do is we go into we go into the curcumin now curcumin itself is made up of three curcuminoids three curcuminoids for sim to simplify the terminology and nomenclature we call it curcumin 1, curcumin 2, curcumin 3 and so what we do is instead of taking regular curcumin, we've modified the extraction to bring curcumin-3 levels up to 30%. There's a reason why we've done that. Now, I'm going to stop and say, you don't have to reiterate a lot of this technology and specific compositional difference. When you're out there, you're talking about a product that's very different, that delivers more profound anti-inflammatory activity. I'm demonstrating to you so you understand that there's a compositional and a pharmacological difference with this curcumin bio BDMC that's extremely different from anything in the marketplace and then protected by patent. And what we've done then is raise the curcumin 3 level, as you can see, to 30%. And there's a reason for it. Because the 18 years of research that I've done has shown that 
Um, when you raise this bio BDMC to 30, but BDMC refers to bis dimethoxy curcumin. That's what it refers to. And we raise it to 30%. It takes 30 to 30, it takes 30 percent concentration to deliver a pharmacology that's different than regular curcumin. Believe it or not, these four slides really are the conclusion of 18 to 20 years worth of research. And what it shows here is that that curcumin 3 inhibits or stops, inhibits or stops a protein called MSK1. You can see it here and here. The other curcuminoids do not. And it stops it. Now what's important about that is that it helps to regulate the transcription of cytokines that create inflammation. So MSK1 inhibits a protein that regular curcumin cannot inhibit. If you take regular curcumin, that has 0.2 to 2 percent curcumin 3, it won't deliver the results that this 30 percent will, and you won't get this inhibition of MSK1, which is very important at the nuclear level where your body's making these cytokines at the genetic level. So we're changing how your cytokines and inflammatory response takes place at a genetic level to protect you from an exacerbated or an unnatural level of inflammation. Now keep in mind, our environment is loaded with, with, with oxidants and inflammatory influences. So more so than we've ever had in the past. And so what we need to do today in our environment is to counter this incremental level of inflammatory influence with an incremental level of anti-inflammatory support for the body as compensatory activity. And that's what we're doing with Regenerate. And so what we do is that we slow down this inflammatory activity. And this just represents all the cytokines that we're inhibiting, not just one, you know, TNF-alpha, interleukin-16, interleukin-2. So let's get out of the depths of the science for now and go back to talking about, you know, how we demonstrate to your lay public what this product can do. You know, we have a BioBDMC technology that is 14 times more effective than ibuprofen and aspirin when it comes to anti-inflammatory activity. And this chart demonstrates that there. So we have an anti-inflammatory pain relief system, we have an anti-catabolic or aging defying mechanism, and we have an anti-stress system. An anti-stress because of the antioxidant levels that we're delivering to the body with this product. So question again is, you know, why do we add collagen to the system? And collagen is an extremely important protein because collagen is that glue that holds together the matrix of your system. And so, you know, the tendons are made up of collagen. The bone mass, you know, collagen is flexible, but the bone mass is actually very much collagen that has been mineralized to become hard, dense bone. And so, what we're doing is that we're supporting collagen regeneration, plumping up the skin the way it was when you were younger so that wrinkles don't show, improving availability of the building blocks from the collagen for hair, skin, and nails to be healthy, and bone matrix. Now, interesting thing is that inflammation that we know causes pain, injury, and, and limitations also contributes to osteoporosis because that inflammation affects two different cells, what are called the osteoblast and osteoclast on the bone themselves. And that bone actually is remodeled based on the activity of these two cells. Inflammation reverses the activity causing your osteoclasts that take minerals off your bone so the minerals can be used for enzymatic activity, but the osteoblast, which is supposed to bring minerals back to rebuild and remodel bone, is impaired by the inflammatory activity. So when you neutralize the inflammation, you also improve the body's ability to remodel bone and tissue. And collagen plays a big role in that to, again, you know, improve availability of key building blocks that are essential for the regeneration of the tissues in the body. So, you know, as we age, collagen t tends to decline, and the most abundant collagen in the body is going to be type 1 and then type 3. Type 2 um, plays a different role in cartilage and cushioning of the joint tissues. So what we have is um, uh, a bovine collagen that actually supplies mainly type 1 and type 3 with some type 2. And so we're getting all three types to deliver different activities in the body, which is very important to have a complete source of activity as well as amino acid building blocks that are conducive to rebuilding and reconstructing connective tissue. So um, we know that 
with collagen supplementation, we studies have shown irrefutably that wrinkles can disappear over time, even over a week, just a couple of weeks of use with the right collagen matrix. Um, the tendons become more elastic so that they don't break. And that's one of the challenges we have with oxidation and aging, where tendons become more brittle just because of the oxidative activity. So um, by supplying the BioBDMC, which is high ORAC value antioxidant, and supplying the anti-inflammatory activity of the BioBDMC, we protect the tissues from that brittle, um, that brittle composition but we also supply the collagen that contributes then by hydrating the tissues and, and supplying the right building blocks. Now, we've supplied another patented technology um, that is actually just about to run into patent status or patent pending status actually, and it's called Glyvia. Glyvia is an amazing product and we use this to sweeten your Regenerate. And it tastes amazing. You don't get the aftertaste of these natural sweeteners. This is a 100% natural sweetener and what we've done is we've coupled it to a carrier that supports the sweetness so that you don't have to use as much as a, of the glycoside from plant. So this is a plant sweetener that does not have the aftertaste that also improves and supports blood sugar management. So interesting thing, we have zero carb, zero calorie, zero protein, so we're not contributing carbohydrates with the sweetener. But also it has a pharmacology that improves the body's capacity to clear blood sugar. So as we age, the one thing to keep in mind is that we tend to develop insulin resistance. And we may not develop insulin resistance to the point that we develop type 2 diabetes, although many of us do based on lifestyle, based on genetic propensity and all these other factors that contribute to insulin resistance. Now there's various degrees of insulin resistance. And all of us, after age 30, 35, will begin to develop various degrees. And if you're here, you have a small level of insulin resistance. What happens is your metabolism changes. And we say, hey, my metabolism has changed because I'm older. Nine times out of ten, that metabolic shift is caused by either insulin resistance or thyroxin deficiency, right? Thyroxin that improves or supports metabolic activity. And so what we're doing with Glyvia is we're improving the insulin resistant state so your body's more sensitive to clearing blood sugar as it requires. So if you're a diabetic and you're testing your blood sugar in the morning, you're fasting blood sugar with a glucometer for example, and you try, you're using Glyvia in this whole system, you'll notice that your fasting blood sugar will improve. And that's something where you have a matrix or metrics that you can actually test the efficacy of the product on the basis of blood sugar regulation. Now there's other factors and other activities that are going on, but Glyvia itself improves that insulin resistance. So if you're creeping up to a level of insulin resistance that is reaching type 2 diabetic state, you may be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, but many of us live our lives, our adult lives, with various degrees of insulin resistance and do not know it. And it is the thing that changes your so-called metabolic rate for the most part. So if we can improve that with Glyvia, now we've improved your ability to manage your appetite, to manage carbohydrate cravings, to improve your ability to, to reach a, a fitter state if that's what you're looking for. But you see the different activities in Regenerate. You have your collagen that supports connective tissue redevelopment. You have your anti-inflammatory activity that is extremely powerful, very different than anything else. You have um, your ORAC value, your antioxidant activity that's higher than anything we've seen in the marketplace. And then you have blood sugar regulation, all built into one product. This is a powerful anti-aging system that covers so much ground and so many different elements of the aging process that you'll feel the difference even in an hour or two. So BioBDMC delivers an effect uh, on the inflammatory response that you can feel within a couple of hours. Regular curcumin takes a couple of days. A couple of hours for BioBDMC versus a couple of days for regular curcumin. On the basis, and the reason is, we're inhibiting MSK1, as I said earlier, and not the other proteins that are inhibited by regular curcumin because regular curcumin cannot inhibit that MSK1. So that pretty much finishes our story about the Regenerate, um, but the stories and the testimonials are to come now on the basis of what you guys are going to accomplish. I can guarantee you that life will change for many of you, especially those of us who you know are over the age 40, 45, 
because there's a lot of room for change and improvement in terms of the metabolic condition. So I'm looking forward to hearing the results and uh, the happy feed that we typically get from these technologies um, that uh, validates a lot of what we do in our lab.